The federal government on Wednesday defended the disbursement of 1.15 billion naira for the purchase of 10 SUVs for the Republic of Niger, saying that the move is to enable the country to safeguard its territory in the best interest of Nigeria's security. Fielding questions from State House correspondent after the Federal Executive Council meeting chaired by President Buhari. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zina Bamid, said it was not the first time Nigeria was supporting her neighbors. She argued that the president had a responsibility to make such decisions in the best interest of the country. The grass is walking. The All Progressive Congress in Oshun State has taken another dimension as the faction within the party known as the Oshun Progressive took to the streets of Oshubu to stage a protest calling for the removal of the state party chairman, Buiga Famudun. The protesters, who are loyalists of the former governor of the state and the current minister of interior, Rarufa Reg Beshala, started their protest from the popular Olaya flyover in Oshubu before terminating it at the State House of Assembly. Some of the protesters, who spoke with newsmen Bosede Uluwa Sheun and Sadiq Olajide, wants the national body of the party to restructure the party by disbanding the state party executives led by Buiga Famodou. Oluwa Sheun and Olajide also accused Famodou of introducing politics of division, which is one of the factors that contributed to the defeat of the party in the July 16 governorship election in the state. And the emergence of Boyo Gafa Modun as the party chairman, they started to introduce politics of division. They claimed that they will not recognize the faction of Raouf Arekbechola, a Tutan governor, and the current serving minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And we now told them politics is about give and take. Everything in life has to be accommodative. We have to do this thing together. We cannot do it alone. They claim that no, they are going to write all these things. And for the first time in the history of Oshun APC, we have a situation where Boye Gafa Modun wrote the results from the unit level to the world level, to the local government level, to the state level. And we told them then that things are not done this way. We have to accommodate everybody. They said no, that they can do it alone. The result of doing it alone is what we have seen now. We lost Kandanoli. What we want is very simple. We want our party to be restructured. How do I mean? Winner doesn't take all in life, not only in politics, but in a situation whereby you think you have to take control of everything, you will lose. What we are seeking now is very simple. There should be a round table to address this issue. You know, I'm just receiving their uh, letter of protest now. You know, I haven't gone through it. I cannot speak to, the, to their uh, allegation now unless I go through the, the subject matter in that paper. But one thing I know is that APC is our party and it will remain our party. And whatever we can do to make sure that the APC continue to rule, APC continue to remain uniform and remain as a one indomitable family, we are going to do it.